Well, we had a good comment last week from a broadcast engineer like you, George. So if we could go ahead, Brian, and go to that uh, first short shot. This gentleman, Elliot K1MF, said, wait a minute, wait a minute. We can operate big time in an attic. And he's got the FTDX1200 and the Heil Pro 7. He said pink was the only color they had left at the ham store. And he said, I wanted it so bad that I will take pink. And after all, he's up in the attic, so no one will know that uh, he's operating with a pink headset. Big <laughs> FT-857, FT-7900, uh, ICOM 880, H, Alinko. And look at that, an old Swan FM 2 meter. I think that used crystals back then. But this is his attic setup. But I said, uh-oh, look at that aluminum foil. That's never going to work with an antenna in the attic. I was wrong. He came out and showed me his log of over 50 different countries running 40 watts or less most of the time. And this is the Comet CHV-5X. This is the same antenna that is at last man standing. And I hope you all watched the show last week. It was a crack up of the uh, old and the new coming together. John Amadeo, you are too funny on how you run these. Anyway, believe it or not, these individual aluminum sections do not impede the antenna radiation. He did have to retune after he uh, did the uh, antenna outside and then brought it inside. But if someone would have said, is this going to get out? And I go, no, it'll get out in the attic no further. Nope, I was wrong. Capacitive loading, top loading, makes this a very effective attic antenna system. It's got a little six meter uh, that is hanging down there. So let no one say antennas have to be absolutely out in the open. Here's some open antenna, the buddy poles and uh, some of the other TW antennas, quite effective. They're not as strong as a regular dipole, but... Don't let anybody say you can't get a signal out if you have to have the antenna hidden. Oh, yes, you can. Look at this at Boxboro. Wow, here's a little loop antenna. Very high Q, and it does its job. Some areas here in Southern Cal will find that our homeowners will run coax out to their car because they're not allowed an antenna on the roof. And that works quite nicely. There's Ken, KB6 EVR. He's run his outbacker horizontal counterpoised off of the metal railing. He just changes taps and he's back on the air. That's Jim in 6JF that lives across the street. I go, oh, Jim, I don't know if this thing's going to really work on uh, uh, 15, 20, or 30 meters. He says, oh, just watch. He says, here it is. It is stainless steel. They are telescopic sections. Up it went. He was tuning around with a little um, MFJ SWR analyzer, which every ham should have one, maybe even two. He's got it loaded down there at the base. As soon as he put his 817 on it, we were talking across the country with an antenna in the backyard. Nobody would know it's there. And we've seen all sorts of backyard antennas counterpoised off of a screen, and the counterpoise works well. Just digging a little metal into the soil usually won't do it. You've got to have something nice and conductive. And these little homebrew jobbies do a great job. You probably will need the MFJ SWR matching device that will take 10, 20, 30 ohms to make it 50 or 80, 90, or 100 ohms and get it back down to 50. And that'll help the feed point be nice and resonant. There's that 10-meter antenna we built about six months ago, and it first contact with South America running uh, 817. That was maybe a 5 watts. So if someone says you cannot have an antenna that is seen from the street, no problem. There's a simple little dipole that we built, probably about 5 bucks worth of wire, and it's working all the way down to South America. And if you want multi-band, consider some of the multi-band antennas. They usually have about a, a four-to-one ballon, and you feed it off-center. And look what happens when you feed it off-center. When you feed it off-center like this, first of all, be sure and keep that uh, feed point away from the metal mast, but that's not metal. That, I believe, is fiberglass, so we're okay there. 
But that off center will resonate on 40, 30, 20. Some will sort of resonate on 15 and, of course, 10 meters and maybe even 6 meters. And look at 75 and 80 meters, quite a sharp point. But that's without an antenna tuner. That's the off-center fed Wyndham antenna. So pretty neat thing with antennas that you can put up in your backyard, do it in the middle of the night, and no one will ever know that they're there. And, of course, deny it the next morning. Well, it's been there the whole time. You could use a tuner, and that's Don in 9ZGE, and he's going to be at Quartz Fest, uh, where I'll be, and uh, he'll be uh, likely doing antenna tuners every year, and he compares them all. And um, if you absolutely cannot have any antenna or anything like that, of course, you can go ahead and uh, roll your uh, system off the uh, Internet on some of the remote uh, stations, and you'll be ready to go. So, uh, Brian... Um, We'll uh, tell everybody, don't say that you can't get a good signal out on the air with an antenna that you can't see, even in the attic if it's full of aluminum. 